Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I have another card to make that I'm going to be using up my scraps, and I have so many scraps that I've just got to start getting them used up, so I'm going to be using some of them. I have a red card base, and I have four little papers. These are an inch wide by about four inches long, and then I have, they're the same papers, but they're about half an inch wide and maybe five inches long. Then I have this teeny little piece of paper here, probably about an inch by a half inch. And I'm going to try to make a teensy little tag with that. So I have two flowers and I'm going to be putting them together with a metal loop and a little tiny heart brad. So this is going to go through here, through the hole, and then that's going to go through the center of my flower. And then I'm going to try to attach my little tag to that with a string. And otherwise, I have a stamp, but I'm going to show you how I mask off part of a stamp. Because I only have room for the friends on my little teensy piece of paper here. So I'm going to mask that off. And then after I stamp it, I'm going to use gold embossing powder. And this needle is just to push a little hole through my tag. And then I have red string. So... It's a lot of little bits and pieces, but I think it's going to go together pretty easily. So, let's go ahead and get started. I guess um, I'm going to start with my stamp. And I'm only going to be using the friends part. So you could either use a marker made with stamping ink on it and just color over the friends part. But I'm going to cheat. I'm just putting a little bit of scotch tape on there just to cover that part. And then I'm going to ink my stamp. So this should only have friends on it that has ink on it. So of course the tape has ink on it now too. So just take that off. And I should be able to just stamp friends on my little piece of paper here. And that worked out great. So I'm going to go ahead and get my embossing powder on that. And of course, it's going to make a mess because my paper's so small. But just dump that in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap this on the counter, and then I'm going to go ahead and clean up my little mess there and heat this up. So I have my words, friends, on my tag. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my little tiny tag stamped and embossed. I know it's probably hard to see on the camera. It's so small. But... Now we're going to work with our papers, and I'm going to be making kind of a basket weave. So I just laid these papers here, and just pretend you're in grade school again, we're making a little basket. So just go over, under, and we're just going to alternate over and under, and you're going to have to play around with this. So of course you don't want to glue anything until you're, you've got your design completed. I'm going to do the same thing under, over, and let's see if we can do this. I might have to range a little bit because this should be back there. So I'm going to continue doing that with my strips, and after I get them placed the way that I want, it's going to be easier to go from the bottom, I think, then I will glue them all together. Okay, so slide that up. And just design it the way you want if you want some more little spaces in between. Because my little leftover papers aren't very long, I'm going to have to put them kind of close together. So I'm going to finish this and get them glued down. And then I'll be back and we will put the rest of the card together. Okay, if you're having any trouble getting your little basket weave glued together, here's a couple things that I've done that help a lot. Just take these parts that were sticking up on the outside and just put a little dab of glue underneath there. And then do the ones on the other end. So these will be opposites and I'll kind of keep things in place. And then do these two outside ones and these two outside ones. And then we can flip it over and you can do these other ends. Just put a little dab of glue on those. So we just want to keep everything in place until we can get it glued to the card. Okay? So I think 
I have just a few spots here and then I'm simply going to put glue on the back here and this will be the front of my card a very nice easy grid pattern let me get a little there okay so this is just going to simply go right on the front and this isn't anything exact just something for a neat front on your card so got that glued on there and now I'm going to take my flower here and I have this little loop so I'm going to put this heart brad right through and these are brushed gold so it's not as shiny as regular gold but just put the little heart brad through put the prongs out flat on the back and simply grab glue or a zot or whatever you want to use and just place that right on the front of your card and then this teensy little tag I made I'm just gonna put a hole through it with this needle I had okay so if you have a punch or something that might work too and I'm just gonna put a piece of red thread through the hole see if I can get it through there this would be really neat too if you have twine or something like that and I'm just gonna tie a knot Whoop! before I tie the knot I better get it through my loop so we're gonna put it right through the loop and we're just gonna tie a little knot and that will attach the tag to our card okay so I got my little tag tied on there and I just snipped the little ends of the threads so there we have it cute little basket weave card with a tag thanks so much for watching